just sat here finishing editing yesterday's vlog. Just sat here finishing editing yesterday's vlog. And uh, I'm spending a little bit more time off the trilogy, which is a, a good thing. Um, today was not Groundhog's Day. I woke up actually at 6 a.m. this morning, an hour later. Um, it's now, would you believe, 11.36 and look how dark it is. Man, there's a storm coming in. We had a little clap of thunder, um, a little bit of rain, well, not rain, a little bit of wind. But now it's stopped, but um, it's not looking nice out there at all. Uh, let's go to the kitchen. Wow. So it's... Uh, Come on over, I'm not opening the door because it's not really safe for my lungs to do that right now. But I think if I hold this steady enough, you'll be able to see how fast those clouds are actually moving up there. Now my only concern when this happens is you know, branches from the um, slippery elm because that is a very old tree and it's a sick tree um, so I need to talk to Rose about that because the inner bark of a slippery elm is, is, uh, has lots of good properties I did want to collect some this, this um, spring but I didn't get to do that and then I was going to do it down later. Um, I wouldn't have as many properties in the in a bag, but it would still be good. Huh. But yeah, look how fast those clouds are moving. And, uh, so far our little plants seem to be doing okay. I haven't been out there. I'm worried about that uh, grass, the lemongrass in that bucket. Um, I might ask my husband actually to just move it over so it's a bit more sheltered with the other, among the other plants there. Um, my, uh, the little cuttings that I made and the bag of sweet potato uh, actually against the house so that's tucked in so they should be okay hopefully they <laughs> uh, there's some crazy wind movement going on uh, if you watch the trees uh, here comes the thunder Sorry, you really can't hear it too well because of my oxygen concentrator, but that looks like that's going to be the highlight for the day. Here's the storm coming over. One day I would love to go up into the woods, take a look up in the woods and see how they look now. Because it's been absolutely years I would probably say, when was the last time I went up into the woods? About seven years ago, ten, five years ago. And then I didn't really go far into the woods. There's some amazing areas up there. And of course, a mist morel mushroom season. which um, I'm, I'm, de damned, I'm determined um, to go next year. I'll just have to work a bit harder at protecting myself at this time of the year. 
I'll have to, what I'll have to do is um, start earlier in the year, you know, giving myself protection. Ooh. Yeah, there's some, there's some crazy wind action going. And we have that one tree that's actually leaning right over that male elderberry tree. Lightning. I remember that there was a time I used to stand out <laughs> on the day trying to cat you know filming lightning. I, I think I might still have some of those videos. If I do, if I can find them, I'll I'll edit them up and put them in. But I think I caught this lightning on here. I need to go through some of the discs that I have left. And uh, see if any of them have, you know, if I can find my decent photos. A lot of this stuff got stolen. But that's okay. One of my photos actually won an award. Um, some parent child entered one of my stolen photos in the uh, 4-H club and it won first place and yes I know a lot of photos can look very similar but there was something that they didn't edit out in the video and that was in the background my Mr. T so <laughs> That's how I knew it was. That's how I knew it was mine. Um, and, and I, heck, I, I wasn't going to dispute it. I won an award. I might not have got the award myself, but I won an award. It was pretty chuffed, actually, because <laughs> I, 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 I just thought it was kind of an okay thing. I didn't see beetles on the under underside of the. That tree that's that little tree there that's flapping around, I keep seeing beetles clinging to the underside of those leaves. I've got to get rid of those beetles somehow because uh, they're not nice ones. Oh, we're starting to get a little bit of rain. There's a little bit of rain. Yeah, I wish my lungs were better because if they were, I would have actually, what I would do is I would have actually open up the sliding glass door so that you could really hear it and see it. But unfortunately, I'm sorry, I can't. This is the best that we can do right now. Maybe this will help now with everybody's, um, you know, respiratory problems. Well, there's some really big, big drops coming down there. Isn't that beautiful? I do love a good storm. I used to love playing out in the rain. But now I can't even breathe in the rain. I can't catch my breath. I lose my breath very easily in the rain. And that is actually one thing that I look forward to hopefully being able to do again in the future. And that is to dance and play in the rain. because I do miss it very much.
Oh, this is actually much needed rain. So. <laughs> My husband didn't think we were going to get any rain, so he quickly watered to some areas outside on the, on the front uh, from platform, but they don't actually get that much rain um, but this rain they just might get because it's heavy and it's coming down at an angle so they just might get a good soaking now I wish I could get rid of the uh, reflection in the, the window. Well, I was going to say I could stick a recorder out there and, and get um, some separate audio, but I don't have a waterproof recorder so not not a good idea <laughs> okay hopefully it won't get any worse than this um, so when we get downpours like this after a very dry time that we usually end up with um, some flooding um, luckily we haven't had a very big flood in a long, long time. Be kind, be thoughtful and considerate to those around you and those who you come in contact with. Pain and suffering is pain and suffering. No matter what the kind of pain and suffering is. When you look somebody in the eye, make sure you can say, I see you. Because one day that person you're looking at just might be you. You might not like it. One step at a time. One breath at a time. We, I, can do this. Keep saying that to yourself. And we will get there. I promise you, we will get there. Where there is, I have no idea. But we'll get there. I'd like to say good evening. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you are in the world.